Hi guys, I'm Dr. Hans and this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. Today I'm gonna sink into this beer, this is Talk to the Poor from My Dog Morris Brewery. And uh, yeah, it's an, a Russian Imperial Stout which comes in at 9.8% ABV, has an IBU of 88. So we're gonna taste the beer and yeah, try to dissect the beer and also got the recipe for you. So we're gonna run through the recipe as well because if it's a good one, maybe some of you guys want to try and brew it. I had some beers from My Dog Morris before, um, but uh, yeah, I think if I rem remember correctly, I received three beers from this Swedish home brewer. And uh, I have been aging the uh, Russian Imperial Stout for quite a while. So uh, yeah, the, the brewer himself was very eager to hear how the stout have aged. And uh, yeah, it's a uh, Swedish winter, it's freezing outside. So yeah, it sounds right to have a winter warmer and uh, his two the other beers I tried from this brewer was very great, so uh, yeah, I can almost promise you that this one's gonna be great also, but yeah, you never know. So let's get this puppy into a glass. Okay guys, here you have the label. There's some text here also. Malts, pale malt, I do have the full recipe, so we're gonna go through that. But uh, yeah, pale malt, Maris Otter, floor malted, rye malt, Munich, chocolate malt, roasted barley, crystal 400, and black malt. So quite a variety there. And hops, Centennial and Columbus. G yeast was US of five. Okay, so let's crack this one open. If you did like this opener, I'm cool. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a toy, but I like it. You have links for that in the description, together with yeah, mostly of the stuff I use for beer and brewing. And yeah, this Tico glass as well. So label out, oh, this pours like a thick, Beautiful oil. I don't know if this bottle condition. Yeah, it is. But uh, yeah, the yeast stayed behind. What a beautiful beer. It was like thick oil. Just how it should be. I never brewed a, like a stout with a, such high ABV. Okay, so we have a beautiful looking beer there. Try to shine through it, but um, no, it's black and thick. We have like a half finger head, light brown head and uh, quite well carbonated. But this has been sitting, I don't remember exactly how long, might even be up to a year, maybe not, but we're a long time, but it, I have been storing it cold. Ah, get the dark malt chocolate toffee, some alcohol. Did I say chocolate? Yeah, I did. It's very chocolatey, um, like those Candies with chocolate and like booze in, in them, like liquor in them. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, dive in. Cheers, my dog Morris. Sorry for the long wait, but uh, yeah. Now it's in the glass, finally. Cheers, guys. If anyone else wants to send me beer mail, you will find my contact information down in the description box. And uh, guys, if you are new to this channel, here on my channel you can expect beer reviews, like this one, gear reviews. I do uh, brewing videos, 
grain to glass videos and um, yeah, DIY videos, event videos, and uh, yeah, a lot of experiments and yeah, there's a lot of variety here, guys. So if uh, you want to learn more about beer and how to become a better brewer, consider becoming a subscriber and do hit that little bell so you get a notification when I post a new video. And of course, thumbs up the video. So cheers guys and thanks for watching. Let's dive in. Okay, it's very thick, smooth beer. Have some hints of alcohols, chocolate, some um, fresh grinded coffee. It is a winter warmer. Yeah, you can really feel the like booziness in it. It's very smooth and uh, I said very chocolatey and really yeah yeah it is as is pours very like thick oil yeah to my palate but I think it's really to style but this kind of beers to me can get a little bit too sweet and a little bit too boozy, but as I said, it's more of a yeah, beer preference. So I think it's a really, really well-made beer from my dog Morris Brewery. But for me, it's a little bit boozy and a little bit too sweet, but I think it's spot on the style. And uh, the reason why I haven't brewed such a beer is because I prefer my beers a little lower in ABV and uh, not as sweet. But for you guys who likes the uh, like Imp Stout, Russian Imperial Stout, this is a really, really good beer. So hang in there as we run through the numbers and the recipe. You could try this yourself to brew it because it's a really, really nice beer. Okay, this is a 15 liter batch. I do have it here in um, kilos and grams. I can give you the percentage as well for your, for you Imperial guys. And yeah, percentage is always the, the best way to uh, share a recipe because the brewer can then just add his own efficiency numbers and calculate the recipe. And uh, by the looks of it, my dog Morris efficiency for this brew was 65%. But, okay, so this is a 15 liter batch, boil size 21 liter. He used six kilos of pale malt, that's about 77%. He used 500 grams of Munich 10, that's about 6.5%. He used 400 grams of rye malt, that's 5%. 300 grams of chocolate malt, 3.8%. And 200 grams of black malt, 2.6%. And 200 grams of crystal 400, 2.6%. And 200 grams of roasted barley. Did the label said roast? Yes, it did. Sorry. And for hops, he used Columbus at 60 minutes. That was 35 grams. 5 grams of Columbus at 30 minutes. Sounds a little bit strange. He used 25 grams of Centennial at 50 minutes and 25 grams of Centennial at 5 minutes. And for yeast, he used one package of uh, American Ceph Ale USO5. Yeah. So, and uh, this has an original gravity of 
1106. So yeah, it is a strong one. And finding gravity of 1032. Yeah, so 1032, yeah, it is sweet. But this style of beers should be, but for me, it could be a little bit drier. And of course, didn't have to be 10%, but um, yeah, I maybe could have aged this for like forever because I haven't tried it young, but now it's so super smooth. So maybe the brewer himself will comment down below how it was young. And this was mashed for 120 minutes at 65C and 10 minute mash out at 66. Okay guys, so there you have it. A beautiful Russian Imperial style from My Dog Morris Brewery. So do try this beer yourself. And uh, what are your favorite Imperial style? Please comment down below. So if you are new to this channel, please consider becoming a subscriber and do hit that little bell so you don't miss anything when I post a video. And uh, yeah, thumbs up really helps out guys. So thanks so much for watching. And thanks, my dog Morris Brewer, for the beer. If anyone else wants to send me beer mail, you will find my contact information down below. The recipe for this one also goes up on my Patreon page in the Dr. Hans recipe book. We have well over 100 recipes there now, so it's very cool. It's mostly my own recipes, but yeah, all of the beer mail recipes also goes up into the recipe book. So. Cheers guys and thanks for watching Dr. Hans out.